welcome back to another video about the industrial automation and industry 4.0. In the previous video, we discussed how you can use uh, different programming languages such as Python or JavaScript to increase the performance of your existing or new automation system. As we discussed, the classical automation systems are somewhat limited. Of course, there are some advanced platforms such as Siemens WinCC Unified, which offers programming JavaScript natively within your IDE of your SCADA or HMI system. But there are several times that you need to implement some advanced tasks such as implementing a machine learning algorithm or voice recognition or even image processing. That's the time you can utilize other programming languages such as Python to run in parallel and then interact with your automation system using different protocols such as you know, OPC UA, Modbus or S7 connection for example in the Siemens PLCs and so on. In this video, we are raising the bar even further and we are going to use a machine learning algorithm to interact with our automation system and more specifically with our PLC to be able to use a camera to detect our hand gestures and send some command to PLC based on those hand gestures. I personally care a lot about this type of features in any, any system, not only just automation system, because it helps uh, disabled people to, to be able to interact with a machine or any other system via the voice or you know in this example via the camera so this is not just a toy or a hobby so you can just expand the functionality of this demo to your own unique application and offer more functionality within your machine or within your system So the artificial intelligence topic is very broad and I cannot even teach you a subcategory in one video. But I just want to give you a few backgrounds so that you understand the next demo better. So overall, there are many subcategories under the artificial intelligence, but one of the important one is artificial neural networks. Again, I don't want to make this an artificial intelligence course, but just to know, so we have something called neuron. Neurons have inputs and an output and there is some chemical going on in the middle and based on the inputs, an output is generated. So that's how um, scientists created this artificial neural network. Basically, they put a mathematical models to simulate all those processes and those chemical interaction. And if you see a picture like this, that's um, how you represent a neural network or artificial neural network. So. In a simple word, you have some inputs, there is a black box or a hidden layer, let's say, and then you have an output based on that. We are very lucky because we are living in an era uh, that the artificial intelligence topic is very hot and different companies offer you a lot of good features uh, and sometimes for free. So for example, in today's demo, we are going to utilize a framework offered by Google which is called MediaPipe. And using this framework, you can do a lot of complex tasks in a very simple manner. So for example, in today's demonstration, we are going to utilize hand gesture recognition and we are going to use those hand gestures that is detected by the system to send some command to the PLC to turn on and off devices, increase or decrease speed and so on. So, just to give you some glimpse like how this system work exactly. So as I said, we are using artificial neural networks, right? We have some inputs, we have a machine learning algorithm in the middle, let's say, uh, or a black box, let's call it, and then we generate some output. So as an input in this demo of for the hand gesture detection, uh, using the camera, the algorithm detects 21 key points within your hand and it feeds that to a machine learning model and based on the, th these inputs, you get, an, uh, you get a series of output and the output in our example is the hand gesture. For example, we can say this is thumbs up, this is thumbs down, this is peace and so on. And the very amazing thing about this model is this is designed to be 
very lightweight and you can run it on edge devices that's really amazing so again we don't want to go into the technical details of the model and artificial intelligence but you can get more technical information from their website if you're interested to know more and now we can jump into the live demo and see how this system works and i will show you uh, how i use this model to interact with a plc to turn on and off a fan and speed up and down the fan and using the camera and it runs very smooth and you will be impressed by the results so stay tuned okay now it's the fun part it's the live demo section of this video let's see how the system works and how, what's the performance of this machine learning algorithm offered by google in a real life example when we use it as an interactive way to communicate with our plc hmi scada or overall an automation and ot system so i'm using a google media pipe framework uh, besides some other Python frameworks and uh, packages such as OpenCV for example to show this camera you are watching me right now in the OpenCV window uh, run from the Python code and also other packages such as NumPy for doing some mathematical operation and so this pro HMI project might sound familiar to you because we used it last week to show you how you can use Python to add a voice interaction to your automation and OT system. So in other words, we use Python to build our own Alexa and uh, sending some voice command to the PLC for turning on and off devices and increasing or decreasing analog values uh, inside your PLC and automation system. So in this project, we are just focusing on one simple example because as you know, the project can be as complex as you want. We are just uh, showcasing over here. So in uh, today's demo, we are just focusing on this fan. So basically we have one fan and we want to turn it on and off with the hand gesture. And also uh, we want to increase or decrease the fan speed with different hand gestures. So the way this model works, uh, it reads my camera and doing some image processing for sure and it detects 21 points or key points within your hand and based on those 21 points uh, you have some data to feed into your machine learning uh, model and then as an output you get the hand gesture name and then you can use those hand gesture to do whatever you want and here I'm just interfacing my, with my PLC so Without further ado, let's see how it works. So I'm just going to use four different hand gestures, one for turning on the fan, turning off the fan, and for increasing the fan speed and decreasing the fan speed. Okay, let's see how it works. Fan is on. Okay, as you see over here on my hand, I have 21 points and then I connected those with some lines. This was my first hand gesture to turn on the fan. With the second hand gesture, I want to turn off the fan. Fan is off. Okay, as you saw, we turn on and off the fan with two different hand gestures. Now let's use the thumbs up and thumbs down to increase and decrease the speed of the fan. As you see the fan speed at the moment is zero. So let's just put our thumbs up and see if it increases the fan speed. Okay, as you see it works really smooth. I really like the thumbs up and down because they work very smooth and it detects very quickly. As you see the speed is going up now let's go and decrease the speed and as you see we have the command shown on the OpenCV frame and it works really fast you see over here so I'm just quickly changing from up and down and it reacts very quickly and this is specific hand gesture model is capable of identifying more than just four uh, hand gestures. I think it, it is capable of identifying up to nine different hand gestures and you can use those for different applications. For example, as you see, we have the peace, we have the smile, we have the feast and different hand gestures. Okay, now let, let's just quickly run the demo again and I just wanna turn on or off the fan, increase and decrease the speed so that you can see how fast this model works.
hope you enjoyed this video and you got some new ideas for your next Industry 4.0 or IoT project. As you saw, using the technology is getting simpler and simpler and it's not like you have to be a machine learning engineer or data scientist to be able to take advantages of all this technology in your OT system. As you saw, we just implemented a very complex task in just a very simple way but believe me, implementing such a task a few years ago was very hard because there were not many frameworks that help you implement such complex tasks in a simple manner. And what I really like about this type of project is they are open source and you can dig into every single details if you are curious and you want to learn more. That's it for today's video. And please don't forget to subscribe to Black IoT YouTube channel and also follow us on LinkedIn and you can find my personal profile on LinkedIn as well and send me a message there. We can talk if you have an interesting topic that you want to discuss and or maybe you want to see different videos about different topics. I'm open for all those uh, feedbacks and comments. Until the next time, have a great day or a good night.